Hey, what's going on? This is Ajax with Ajax Customs and Tactical Airsoft Supply. I am going to show you a quick little uh, technique that I use for um, the blowback uh, seals on uh, pistols or even O-rings. This is a quick little fix that I've used a few times and it you know, if you're in a situation where you have a part that's messed up, it's always worth to try to fix it if possible because it may be hard to find the replacement part or it may be very difficult or, you know, might take a while to ship in. So um, I'm not exactly sure what this part is called. This is part of a 1911 uh, Elite Force. And this is a, I think it's the main blowback uh, diaphragm. And as you can see in the video here that it's uh, the cylinder, the gas blowback cylinder has actually... Um, marred the the diaphragm so it's like pulled over to the side and it's flared out and pretty much destroyed so I'm going to show you a thing that I've done to actually fix these and I've been waiting to get another one of these in so I can show it on a video because it's actually a pretty cool little trick so I'm popping this out as you can see <clears throat> it's got a quite a bit of damage on it pull this piece out here See how it's all flared and weird? So that's not going to work at all. But what I've learned is if you put some heat to it, it'll actually form back into its, its uh, original shape. So I've got a heat gun here. I'm going to put it on not a very high setting. And I'm going to just make sure... Oh. Make sure that it's not going to like melt anything else. You see, as I heat it, it will start magically taking its original molded form. Uh, where did it go? And it flew off the table, and now it's lost forever. Oh, here it is again. Let me try this different technique. I I would normally do it so you know it wouldn't be this awkward, but it's just this is just for the sake of filming it, I guess. All right, here you go again. There you go, that's the focus. So you can see the shape of it. It's kind of going back in, and you kind of want to monitor it. You don't want to melt it completely. So there you go, I've uh, put it back into its shape, and it's not perfect anymore, but as long as it's not causing friction or drag in the, in the main uh, cylinder, then it'll be just fine. This is still a little tacky. I'm going to let it cool off. And then I'll install it again. But as you can see, it works. So this will work on rubber O-rings too. If you ever get an O-ring that's uh, uh, flared out or, or um, I don't know what the term is, but you know, just basically stretched out. That's often happening in gas seals for uh, guns. There's a seal that if you take the valve out and replace it and it gets overstretched on the side, it'll get um, crushed or damaged. So that will work uh, as well. So there's that. This will pretty much apply for any gas blowback gun. If you have that problem, just apply heat and be uh, you know, cautious on how you form it. But it should, should set it back to its original shape. And yeah, that's my tip for the day. Thanks for watching uh, Tactical Airsoft Supply and uh, Ajax Customs. Peace out. Bye.